Hi all, this is Mohit Tyagi. Since we are doing SQL interview question series, this is the further continuation of that. Today we will see how can we find out second highest salary within each department. So here we have two table employees and department, right? And this will be our final output, right? In the last, this one. So how we will go with that? First, we will uh, use these two table and we need to get the department name right out of this department table and we will use the department id in the inner join right so after getting the inner join output we will use the row number right row number is a window function which will give us a, a unique number based on the criteria so that criteria we will be used based on the uh, partition by department name and order by salary into descending order, right? So that in each department name, we will get a unique number, right? Same for HR and same for marketing, right? After that, uh, we can use the uh, where condition where we can choose the R number is equal to two so that we will get the second highest salary, right? So this will be the process. Now we will follow the same process in SQL. So let's jump into the SQL. So since I have already created the table and inserted the data, so I'm just sharing these commands for you. So, so that you can try this at your end, right? So you can use this create for the table employees and you can insert these values same for the create a table for department and insert these values right so i'm just selecting select star from employees right if i will run this we will get this same for the department This is the department, right? So this is the data. Right now, uh, we will use the inner join so that we can get the department name from the department table. So I am removing this. So select. And I am taking the alias for the table name, right? T1 dot star. So that will be employees table T1 and T2 will be the department name. T2 dot department name. Employees T1 inner join department T2 on t1 dot department id t2 dot department id if simply i run this so i will get the department name along with the department id right now uh, we will use this whole query as a table and we will use this uh, table to get the row number right so we will use select, select star row number over. So we are getting the row number over partition by department, by department name, order by salary descending right as r num so i am giving r num as a field name which will give us the unique number from right so we are selecting all this from this table right i am just wrapping this and i am giving alias as a right if i will run this 
so we are getting this r num right so once we are getting this r num now we can use uh, r num as a filter and we can get the second r num is equal to 2 so that we will get the second highest salary so to use the r num we can create the cte cte table right and we will wrap all the code within the cte now we can use the select star from cte where uh, r num is equal to 2 right if i will run this so we will get this right and instead of select star uh, we can use employee id right and salary and we can use the department name and department name right so this will be the output right so so that's how we can achieve this right so that's all for today's session thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day bye